Sucky, so we've just finished the event. How are you feeling about everything, Sucky? Well, it's the first time we've staged a competition like this. Same with myself, and you know, I couldn't ask for anything more. You know, the competitors had a great time. Spectators had a fantastic time. Sponsors all happy. We had a complete full house on the on the ground floor, and even when I was looking from stage, it just all looked, looked fantastic. The atmosphere was buzzing. I've had loads of great compliments from all the, uh, the spectators and the competitors about how the competition was staged. And uh, we roll again in October. We do Swansea's Next Fitness Model all over again um, in October. So I'll confirm a date next week. And I've got three more. We're going to do one in Cardiff, Cleddley, and my hometown, Derby. I think the event was so successful because uh, how I believe how I promoted it, I was, the biggest focus was on the competitors. The uh, biggest focus was on supporting local businesses. That's the whole point of why we created the Swansea's Next Fitness Model. The Next Fitness Model UK is the umbrella. But then we split it off into to focus on each place. So you don't see any, any, any of the shows that, um, that have category sponsors supported by local businesses. In the end, the local businesses see the, the competitors and the spectators as their own customer base. And the majority of these competitors have never competed before. And I mean, not, not, not bragging, but the bottom line is that this competition gave more back to the spectators and the competitors than any other show I know. And that was the focus. That's the USP of the event. And that's what I'm going to take forward to future events that I'll be doing in October and again next year. Um, and yeah, the, the competitors are happy. We've got 50 competitors from Swansea alone, uh, which is unheard of in getting that amount of competitors from one place. Usually you get five or 10, but we've got 50 competitors and the standard was fantastic. I mean, I think as people will see clips of the overalls, it was unbelievable. Some of these people, competitors, I said majority of them, would be worthy to step on any stage. So I hope a lot of these guys do take it further as well, but they just don't, they take the experience and whether they want to, you can hear a cheer in the background, whether they want to compete again in another federation or another competition, or whether they just learned more about the body and they're gonna change their lifestyle or make amendments. Hopefully everyone will take something from it, but for myself, I'm very happy how it's gone. Um, I'll look forward to reading the messages and tomorrow I'll get some time to reflect. But until then, I'll be going out tonight, celebrate with everybody and, uh, Celebrate 12 weeks of hard work, and like I said, we roll again tomorrow. We we start uh, getting ready for October. Lovely. You mentioned there um, about you've got an in October. What would you say to somebody who is thinking about getting involved, or maybe you've seen uh, today's competition? What would you say to somebody who's thinking about maybe getting involved in the October competition? I say get involved. Get involved. You know, um, we've got competitors from, from all. The, they were all different stories. You know, one of them beat cancer. One of them was recently pregnant and wanted to lose the body weight. One of them, anorexia. Another one uh, was bullied as a kid and that was his reason for wanting to do the show. Everyone's got a different reason. And if you willing to work hard and dedicate yourself, then you can achieve it. And as the physique showed, it's all about the, all about the attainable and sustainable look we're going for. We're not looking for the bodybuilder. We're looking for something that you can see on you know, a beach body uh, or a men's health, or women's health magazine. So anybody who's, anybody who's interested, you know what, go for it. You know what, What's, what, what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose where you can diet and train for 12 weeks? It's probably what you're doing already. You should make, some, make a few amendments. And I'll tell you what, I'm sure a lot of these competitors will have said that they weren't, they worried about their confidence and they were nervous and they weren't unsure, but I very much doubt you'll get to see anyone who will regret about stepping on stage. And I'm sure there are a lot of competitors or people who were thinking about competing and probably were watching live or on by Facebook, and probably were thinking, you know what, I wish I was there, I wish I was on stage. That looks like something I want to get involved in. And don't worry, we'll be getting all the information out. And I truly uh, firmly believe that this event will get bigger. And uh, we got there's a lot more talent in Swansea that will earn her uh, in this competition. Okay, give a round of applause. The overall men is following you.
Craig Morgan. Okay, so first things first, what category have you just won today? Uh, open men's. And how are you feeling? Uh, amazed. I uh, wasn't expecting it one bit, but I'm chuffed at the end of the day, so uh, can't ask for any more on that. Brilliant. Chuffed. What have you done in terms of training to get ready for this event? Uh, quite a long process, been about 10, 12 weeks of uh, dieting. Uh, say that I've come down to the last sort of three or four weeks, uh, it's been quite intense. Um, shake, it's still shaking now, but um, yeah, it's been, it's been a long process, so it's all paid off. So now that you've won first place, what's next for you? Uh, I don't know, I might go on to some, some bigger shows, uh, maybe somewhere you know, up the country or something like that, something outside up to the Swans, you know, I've sort of got my name out there, so yeah, see how it goes. Okay, brilliant. So first of all, what category have you just won? Uh, the Junior Fitness Model. Okay, and how did it feel to win? Amazing, I worked so hard for it. Yeah, tell me about your training, man. How long did it take? What type of things have you done? Well, I've always trained. I started uh, back in school when I was in year 9, year 10. I used to go at lunchtime and break time, you know, do a few reps in the gym. And then since then, I kind of like, had motivation for my friends. You know, we started off together and I kind of got like, the buzz of my friends. You know, they pushed me to do it better. And then after that, I train every day, including Sunday. Sometimes I go twice a week, you know, I get two leg days and, you know, five upper body workouts. And I do two muscle groups almost every time. And my dad, and, you know, it's cost a lot of money just to get, the, you know, the supplements and the, the right foods. So, uh, yeah, really, I've worked so hard for it, and I, I'm glad, I'm so happy that I got to win this. I got something to show for for my training, you know. So, uh, thank you. So, last question now. Um, what is next for you now that you've won? Well, this has been like a stepping stone for me, you know. I'm going to use it to kind of like, it's boosting my confidence a lot. And uh, there'll be another one of the same competition being held in October, and I'm definitely going to enter that. And hopefully, if there are a few others around, I'll go to enter those as well. And hopefully, if I get to do great, I might travel, you know, and do a worldwide competitions. You know, who knows? So I just thank God and my family for this. Okay, so first things first. Um, what competition have you just won? What category? Uh, the Masters. Yeah, and how do you feel that you've won? Oh, wild chuffed. Yeah, I never thought in a million years. You know, it's uh, first competition for me, so. Uh, yeah, very excited. Overwhelmed, but uh, great. Yeah, fantastic feeling. And uh, what training have you done to the run-up to this competition today? It's been quite an intense sort of 12-week process. Um, the training I've absolutely thoroughly enjoyed. The diet in uh, not so much, but uh, you know it's come to an end now. But uh, yeah, who knows where you go from here? Yeah, great. Last question is, where do you go from here? What have you got lined up next after um, the event? I think pretty much a chill out now for a, at least a, a few months. Um, just get back to some normality and uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll evaluate uh, in a few months time, yeah. Okay, so first things first, uh, what was the category that you've won today? Uh, I believe it was Men's Fitness Open. Okay, and how do you feel that you've won? <sighs> pretty uh, overwhelmed to be fair, I was extremely nervous, like really nervous, big time. <laughs> so, yeah. So what have you done for the training to get yourself ready for this event today? <clears throat> yeah, training was quite brutal, mentally and physically. But I uh, put the hours in, maybe not as much as I should have done, but I tried to make the best of what I had available and got the job done in the end, I guess. <laughs> so now that you've won first place for this event, what's next for you? Um, I'm going to be moving to London to pursue my personal trainer business, hopefully, and focus on my business. I already coach people for shows and stuff like that. Uh, so hopefully develop that and get my client base in London. Please welcome your three bikini girls fighting out for your overalls, Natasha, <laughs> Abigail, <laughs> and Kira. Model winner is 
Natasha. Okay, so first things first, what actual category have you won today? The Open Bikini Fitness Model. And how did it feel to win first place? Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Can't believe it. What have you done for the run after this competition in terms of training and getting yourself ready? Trained probably, well, every day, at least two hours a day. Um, dieting, really well, clean, clean eating then. And just, just loving it, enjoying it. And yeah, I'm chuffed. <laughs> Last question I've got for you is, um, what are you going to do now that this is over? What's next for you? Um, I'm definitely going to look into competing further. Um, give myself a little bit of a break and then get back into it. It's my baby's birthday today, so I'm going to go enjoy his party. <laughs> okay, so you've just won another category here tonight. How are you feeling? Amazing. I can't believe that. Overall, I can't believe it. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, you must be chuffed. What's next for you then? Um, just look, see what's next in, uh, in regards to competitions. And just see if I can further my career in this. First things first, what category have you won today? Masters Bikini. Okay, and how do you feel that you've won? I'm absolutely overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed and I'm absolutely chuffed. I'm overwhelmed. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's such an achievement. For me, the hard work has all come together. Speaking of hard work, what training have you done for the run-up to this event? Um, weight training mainly, um, minimal cardio and a uh, little hit training. Um, I'm a personal trainer and um, a class coach. So I've been doing, I've been coaching myself, which has been, it's, it's quite hard, you know, with family commitments. But, you know, if I can be an inspiration to other women, you know, it, that t to say, you know, age is not a number, you know, but as soon as you hit 47, you, you don't have to wear, you know, Pearl and Twin Set anymore. If you want to go and run a triathlon, do it. If you want to, you know, you can just achieve anything you want to. Lastly, um, what's for you now that the event is done? What's next? I have another competition in eight weeks. <laughs> Which is? Um, U Cup, Ultimate Physiques UK. Yeah. So what category have you won today? Uh, junior Bikini Fitness Model. And how do you feel that you've won? Good, but overwhelmed, a little bit. Yeah, exciting. And what have you done to the run up this competition training wise? Uh, lots of cardio, weightlifting in the gym, and obviously lots of dieting as well. And um, lastly, what's next for you now that the event is over? Oh my gosh, I have no idea. Um, I'd like to become a fitness model, but that will, uh, it might take some time yet. Yeah.